Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Fairies Tutorials. And in today's episode, we will be focusing on time planning. Yes, the same time plan that some students get so frustrated of writing. But by the end of this video, you should be able to plan and execute your dishes adequately. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment for more interesting videos. Okay guys, let's dig in. So, we are going to focus on definition of key concept. We're also going to look at components of a time plan, tips for writing time plans, and also a sample of a time plan. Now, you may ask, what is a time plan? Especially for persons who are in grade 10 or for farmers. Let me give you about two seconds to think about it. What do you think is a time plan when it comes on to your practical assignment? Where do I need to have a time plan? All right, let's see if you were correct. What is a time plan? A time plan may be defined as a framework for organizing the task to be carried out. It takes into consideration, one, the nature of the task. For instance, your SBA question, that would be the nature of your task, right? The methods of cooking involved. Is it a three course meal that you're going to prepare in? What are some of those cooking methods that you think you will utilize? Good. Examples include frying, sauteing, baking. It also includes time constraints, which is a time schedule. And you know, for your SBA assignments, your practical assignment, you have only two and a half hours. Good. Next, the equipment available and also the ingredients and quantities needed. Okay. Now, let us move on to the components of a time plan. Now, your time plan has four pages. On page one, you will find your cover page. And this is where your personal information, such as your name, your registration number, the school that you attend, and your question will be displayed. Page two, you will have your choice of work where you put your activities and dishes chosen and also your main ingredients with the quantity and materials needed. On page three, you will find plan of work along with your, in this section, you're going to involve the method of preparation along with oven management so you must have temperature checks in there and you must also have some form of time frame and on the fourth and last page you will have the list of ingredients this is where you make a list of your groceries your vegetables and fruits and also special materials and equipment needed after we have completed the tips for writing the time plan i will show you what an actual time plan sample looks like. Tips for writing time plans. The time plan must show evidence that you have used work simplification techniques. Very important. No, work simplification means using resources to save time and energy when performing a task. For example, dovetailing. For instance, you could prepare a salad while the rice is being cooked on the burner and the kitchen and the chicken, sorry, in the oven. Good. Also, if you're preparing a cake, you wouldn't want to go ahead and use a hand mixer. Or let us go about backtrack a little. You want you wouldn't want to use a wooden spoon. Right, you would try to use one of those electric mixer, which saves, which makes your work way easier to cream if you're making a cake by the creaming method. 
and it also saves on time and energy and lets you work more efficient so in selecting your dishes you also select labor saving devices that you think will make you work a bit faster even when you're at home and you're cooking i know you just don't start frying the chicken and you wait until the complete batch is fried and then you go and make the salad no you dovetail so if the cake is in the oven i can be making the salad at the same time right i don't need to be waiting on the cake to be baked and then moving on to make the salad no so you have to use work simplification techniques and you must show this throughout your time plan so exactly how you would operate throughout this process or throughout your practicals that's how it must be showcased on your time plan sheets okay now let us look at some some steps so one you have to decide on the task to be performed and normally you will get your SBA questions so therefore you know exactly what you're going to do right so it may say prepare for the current SBA for grade 11 term second assignment term 1 grade 11 term 1 you're supposed to prepare a two course meal using convenience food right so you decide you know the task that you're going to prepare but guess what you would now have to go and select your menus and get your recipes very important for you to have your recipes good two you're going to decide what dishes you will prepare for that given assignment as I was saying right so this means you must decide on the menu and write it down step two decide what ingredients and what quantity of ingredients are needed to prepare each item on the menu simply means you will need your recipe it is impossible for you to write a time plan without a recipe good because you will need to have your list of ingredients you need to write up your list of ingredients along with the quantity and also the method of preparation therefore you are going to take each named dish and list the quantities of ingredients that are required step three you're also going to make a list of essential equipment needed for preparing and serving the menu items good so is it that you're going to need an electric mixer is it that you're going to need a food grinder is it that you're going to need a food processor so you have to make a list look at all the dishes that you have selected and make a list of the essential equipment that you would need to prepare this dish good and also remember very important to make use of time and labor saving equipment where possible this will help you to complete your dishes in the time allotted step four plan the order in which the dishes are to be prepared so on your time plan you can't be doing the cake say for example you want to do the cake first because you want it to be cold right so you can ice it you can decorate it you wouldn't you would have to put that you prepare the cake first so you can't prepare the cake at the last slot the last slot in the time plan you have to prepare the dishes in the order in which they are to be served as well even so for instance you're making a, a soup for an appetizer you wouldn't want to prepare the soup for the first thing because all your dishes should be served hot so just as how you are about to prepare the things that are harder to prepare you would start to prepare them first the things that are to be served cold you would want to prepare them first so that they can be chilled and the things that are to be served hot you prepare them later down or you prepare them and make sure you hold them at the correct temperature now next state briefly the cooking method you will use to prepare each dish next prepare a time schedule to show the sequence of tasks that the time sorry sequence of tasks and the time when each step will be carried out good notes briefly 
the oven temperature and cooking times should be noted good so oftentimes you may put in pre-prep to preheat oven at for 300 at sorry 350 degrees fahrenheit or thereabout and also if you're going to bake the cake you would want to say and you put it to bake for 30 for 30 to 45 minutes so you that's just an example of the time slots that you need and the oven temperature that you need to mention right you should also aim to serve hot dishes hot and cold dishes cold Continuing with step five, prepare a shopping list showing quantities and where they are available. However, if you can purchase everything you need at the supermarket, your shopping list will only include items from the supermarket. Thank you for watching. And at this time, I will show you a sample of how the time plan sheets looks as promised here is a sample of the time plan sheet so it reads caribbean examination council secondary education certificate plan sheet for school based assessment in home economics and if you notice here it is it stated that it should be completed in triplicate but what I normally do for my students, they will complete one sample and then they make copies, right? They make two copies. So you notice that this instrument is also used for food and nutrition, food, nutrition and health, and also family and resource management. Okay. So as we were speaking earlier about the personal information that are listed on the that are needed to be on the front page you can see here we have the name of candidate so you would put your name there let me just guide you through name of candidates you will also have your the name of your center that is where you will be doing the exam your teacher's name your territory the territory is the country in where you're from so if you're from Jamaica you would put Jamaica if you're from Trinidad and Tobago you would put Trinidad and Tobago center number here and this is where they sent the names this is the number for the center in which you will be doing your exam so for example if you're doing your your exam at a high school then you, the high school has their center number and also your registration number let's scroll down some more and you can see here we have practical assignment number two and this is where you would put your SBA question okay now on page two you have choice of work you have choice of work and on the choice of work you have activities and dishes chosen and also the main ingredients and the quantities now if you notice over this section you will not you should not write in this margin so for this you would only use this section here and this section here so activities and dishes chosen you would write all the activities that you're chosen you have chosen for example if you're doing a two course meal then you would put have your appetizer first and what you're going to prepare for your appetizer is it's uh, vegetable cups you would write vegetable cups here and then over here you put the main ingredients so if it's one cup of bell pepper diced bell peppers you would put it over this section here then you would have your main course here and then you put your protein dish put what is it is it uh, grilled salmon with sweet chili sauce you have your carbohydrate carbohydrate dish is it is it herb roasted potatoes you would put it there and also the main ingredients that you would need to prepare this 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 short sorry and also your vegetables so if it's a salad you would you know that you would need to have your dressing as well or if it's a cooked veg then you would put whatever main ingredients that you need to prepare these items on that side all right let us move on the next page page three is your plan of work so 
at your plan of work you notice that you have your time slot and you also have the order of work here good so at the time so normally what I do for my students the first slot that we have is pre prep so we would write pre prep right in this section we don't time it and all you think of all the pre preparation that you will have to do for all of your dishes for the entire practical and you would put it in this slot up here so for example you may have collect and wash utensils set up work area make garnishes for dishes make your decorations you may have wash and drain vegetables and fruits you may have seasoned meat fish uh, uh, poultry and allow to marinate such so stuff like that good so remember that your SBA practical lasts for two and a half hours. So we normally, what I do with my students, I, I recommend that you go in half an hour slots. So the first half hour, say we start at eight o'clock, we'll probably finish about 10.30 there about. So from eight to 8.30, you would write it here. And then over this side, you may have, say for instance, you're making a cake or some cupcakes and you want them to be cool so you can decorate before the exam finish. So I would suggest that you prepare that first. So what you could, for example, say you're doing orange cake, right? So 8 to 8.30, you would have preparation of orange cake. You would write the time slot here, 8 to 8.30, and then over this side, then you would have preparation of orange cake by the creaming method. Come back, gradually add remaining ingredients, pour butter into prepared uh, uh, cake tin, and put to bake for 35 to 40 minutes they're about depending on the size of the cake and at, e at the end of each slot you have to ensure that you put tidy work station it is very important for you to clean as you go along so for every segment of your time plan you have the statement tidy work area then you will may move on to something else because while the cake is baking you would want to move on to something else right right so you would have all the times here remember if you start at 8 whatever time you start it doesn't matter what time you start as long as the time plan has two and a half hours good all right let's proceed so the last page now we have our list of ingredients good so as you can see over here you have the grocery items so in this grocery column you would list all the things that you're able to buy at the supermarket so it may be vegetable oil it may be flour sugar butter margarine whatever the case may be salt whatever the case may be and you also include your quantity so I would recommend that you take, you write it a little small, as you see, there's not much space for you to play with there, especially if you're, uh, if you write uh, on the bigger side, good? Now, under vegetables and fruits, you would include all the vegetables and fruits here along with their quantity. So you will have like your lettuce, your tomatoes, your oranges, whatever the case may be, whatever you're preparing. And then for special materials and equipment, you would have, for example, as I mentioned, made reference to the orange cake. What would you, what, what are some of the special materials I think that you would need to make a cake? Think about it, yes. I would say you'd probably need that electric mixer. Good, are you, right. So you would put, you put only the things that are special. Good, you may also need a juice extractor to remove the juice from the oranges if you're using real orange, if you're using the fruit, sorry, versus uh, buying the, the juice uh, ready made good all right also on this page you have fish and meat at the last section here so you will include all your fish and your meat here along with your quantity as well and that's basically the time plan right so i hope this video was informative and i hope that you're you were much better able you're much better able now to plan and plan adequately Awesome, you have made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.